Good day, everybody. It's Dr. A back in the garden in beautiful Athens, Georgia. And uh, gosh, these plants we know so well called digitalis are just thriving these days. Uh, perhaps the name digitalis comes from these digit like flowers. Uh, and that might be one of the reasons where it got its name. But well, our book club is reading this really cool book these days. It's called The Hidden World of the Fox. Shows how extraordinarily successful a fox has been in surviving everywhere in the world, from woods to the middle of the city of New York. But uh, what in the world does this plant have to do with a fox? Why is it called foxglove? Well, there's all sorts of stories that are abounding. And I love looking and trying to do some research as to where plants get their names. You know, this thought that perhaps it was originally called Foxglove. It is native to Europe and particularly in the British Isles. And it was thought perhaps to be used sort of as the gloves of folks in the woods or even magic fairies. But one of the stories I really love is a story of our sly fox in the woods in England trying to get close to the hen house. But every time he got close to the hen house, Farmer Brown came out because Farmer Brown heard him. The hens squawked because they heard him. And the fox was very depressed. He just couldn't get close. And as he was despondent, he was approached by one of those magical fairies. And he said, what is the problem? The fox said, the problem, I can't get past Farmer Brown because I can't get any food because I'm just too noisy. And the fairy said, well, why don't you put some of these flowers over your feet? And the fox did. And perhaps the term foxglove came from the four flowers the fox put over his paws and became known as the gloves of the fox. That's just one of the many stories where foxglove gets its name. But oh, everybody loves telling stories about foxes. Everybody loves telling stories about plants. And there you go. Let's just enjoy the plant regardless of the history of the name. Dr. A in the garden. See you soon. About to tell you some more stories down the road.